one problem that I did have was fitting in the middle of my locks. Not all of them, just a couple. Um, you gotta be careful not to do a process over and over again because what it can do is thin the lock. Of course, you know that if you listen to some of my videos. Let's see, which one is it? Here it is. It has thinned right here. And it looks pathetic. Um, actually, if you if I was to twist it, yeah, you can see. Well, it's not really that bad, but if you were here, you would see that. Really, if I wanted to pull this apart, it would snap in two pieces. I don't want that. So um, I've kind of learned to do something. I kind of did it with one of them. Let me find this one. I should be a little bit more prepared and already marked these jokers. Okay, here we go. What I've done is I've actually knotted that area on another lock where it was thinning. I did this because, I, I mean, yeah, it takes off some of your lint, probably like a centimeter. Who's really counting? But at the same time, I really do not want my locks to snap. I've grown so close to them. I really do not, really do not want them to snap. So, what I do is I knot it. Simple knot. And I just knot it right in that area. You gotta make sure you're not in the area that is thinning and not on the lock that's already, on the part that's already healthy. Then that kind of defeats the purpose. But, I'm doing it right in the thin area. I'm not going to pull too hard because, of course, you're not trying to make your lock snap. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to pull a little tight because I don't want this to look like a knot in the middle of my lock. So, I'm going to put a little tight. Oops. I could have moved it over a little bit. And if you have to undo it, just do it. You know? Don't be a little, don't be too scared. Now, with this one, the one I just showed you, I did two knots. Which, you know, I might just do it on this one too. So, I might as well do it. You know? Because sometimes, you're just not going to get that area. I'm going to go cross-eyed by the time this thing is over. I just feel it. Oop, that's not the way. Don't do that. Don't follow that example. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. It's going to be like that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But you get the idea. Aha. Dun, dun, dun. Ha. Alright. So I nodded it. So, what it looks like I'm doing is, is making a knot. That one was really big, you know, looking at it like that. But, from a distance, how can you tell? So, um, what I'll probably do, which I've been doing, palm rolling, so I can, you know, get the shape of my other locks. Because even with this one, which sometimes I have difficulty identifying... There it is. You can't really tell. Oh yeah, you can see it right there, right now. But if it's in my, you know, the rest of my locks, who can really tell? So that's what a little tip I had. I just learned that probably like uh, a few months ago. I just forgot about it. Um, I would recommend against <sighs> over processing the area. Um, I wouldn't, you know, crinkle it in this time, you know, where it's still knotted, I'll say about a month or two, give it time to really just mend in with the rest of the lock. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, and this could be used for females and males, of course, unisex. So, um, oh, my camera is deciding to move. But, um, that's all. I will talk to you later. This is my fortress. Nice seeing you.